So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to place down NPCs in UEFN, as well as how to customize them and put whatever skin you want on them. I'm going to try and keep this tutorial as short and simple as possible because I know this stuff can get really confusing. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as I'm going to be making a lot more videos on this. And so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to place down an NPC spawner. Go ahead and maneuver over to your content drawer on the bottom left of your screen. Click on the Fortnite folder, go under devices and click on the AI panel. So right here are all the devices in this folder that we can use. And the one that we want specifically is the guard spawner. So you want to go ahead and left click and drag it onto the screen wherever you want it to be. Now on the right side of your screen is a big panel that pretty much controls all the settings for the NPC. The first major one that I would definitely want to change is the spawn count. This determines how many many of these NPCs spawn whenever you start the match. I only want one. I'm going to change it from the default, which is four to one. Before we get to any of the other settings, we want to definitely check this box right here, which is the character cosmetic. This option is very important because this actually determines what skin the NPC is going to be. This is going to give you a lot more options to choose your cosmetic over the creative 1.0 options. If you want to see every skin that's available, you're going to want to just click on any random skin and then go ahead and click on the folder with the magnifying glass. And this is going to open up the content drawer and show you every available skin that you can use for this NPC. Now, one thing that you should know is that not every skin is available on here. Very popular skins like the Indigo Kuno is just not here. The Skull Trooper isn't here. The Ghoul Trooper isn't here either. You get the idea. So you pretty much just want to find what skin you want to use. In this case, I guess I'll just use Astra. So now that I know that the Astra skin is in the folder, I'm going to go ahead and click on the drop down menu again and then search up Astra. And then I'm going to click on it. And as you can see now, right here, I have the Astro skin as my NPC. So now if I were to start my session up here, which I've already started, you're going to see that the skin actually changed and the NPC is now wearing the Astro skin. Now, there's definitely a lot of other settings I would want to change. If you don't want your NPC to respawn every single time, you want to go ahead and turn this off. Then it allows you to choose how many times it can respawn. With this setting, you can choose how long it takes for the NPC to respawn. You can choose how much health and shield they have. You can even choose how good their accuracy is. So if you really wanted to, you can make them have the most potato aim ever, or you can make them be the next Peter bot. Another cool option is that you can actually make it so that you can hire this bot and you can give it whatever name that you want guys look it's peter bot <laughs> Now, the last option I want to recommend you guys is the guard team option. Now, this is going to determine whether or not the NPC is hostile. Team index makes the NPC your teammate. Team wildlife and creature makes it shoot you on sight. And team neutral means that it won't shoot at you unless you shoot it first. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you learned something new. And if you guys enjoy the video and want to see more, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Use my code ZRK and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.